welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. We are about to talk to Arl Lehman and start the uh, lands meet, which is basically the climax of the game, more so than the final battle, because the final battle is pretty bad, really, actually. Slog through a city of Darkspawn. Ah, there you are. I was about to send out a search party. I have been hearing of a great commotion in the alienage. What exactly happened there? Make her forgive me. I should be appalled that such a thing could exist here. But I'm overjoyed you can implicate Loghain. We must end the civil war quickly. What the Blight does not corrupt in this land, politics surely will. The last of our allies have arrived in the city. We cannot delay any longer. I will call for the Landsmeet to convene. Bring Alistair and join me at the palace as soon as you are ready, Warden. And this is just about exactly one year after the uh, Battle of Ostagar. It's all the Gotta figure all that map traveling is weeks at a time, you know? Indeed. kind of funny one of the only achievements I don't have on this game is the all endings one because just never been able to bring myself to not kill a low game I played Inquisition with him once because the keep allowed me to make that choice and not have to play it it is I must say he's pretty good in Inquisition So this quest is on a it's kind of on a point system. You get two for winning an argument, like negative one every time you mention Alistair kind of thing. I think you also get plus one for every uh, noble you've convinced. So I get all those guys in the tavern, etc. Here we go. My lords and ladies of the Landsmeet, Tyrn Loghain would have us give up our freedoms, our traditions, out of fear. He placed us on this path, yet we should place our destiny in his hands? Must we sacrifice everything good about our nation to save it? A fine performance, Aemon. But no one here is taken in by it. You would attempt to put a puppet on the throne, and every soul here knows it. The better question is who will pull the strings. Ah! Here we have the puppeteer. Tell us, Warden. How will the Orlesians take our nation from us? Will they deign to send their troops? 
or simply issue their commands through this would-be prince. What do they offer you? How much is the price of Ferelden Honor now? See, his, uh, his thing with Orle has just blinded him. There are enough refugees in Mybanor now to make that abundantly clear. The South has fallen, Loghain. Will you let Darkspawn take the whole country for fear of Orle? The Blight is indeed real, Wolf. But do we need Grey Wardens to fight it? They claim that they alone can end the Blight. Yet they failed spectacularly against the Darkspawn at Ostagar. And they asked to bring with them four legions of Chevaliers. And once we open our borders to the Chevaliers, can we really expect them to simply return from whence they came? See, if you answer that first one, that's just hearsay, no evidence. So you lose a point. The Warden speaks truly. My son was taken under cover of night. The things done to him! Some of them are beyond any healer's skill. How was responsible for himself. He will answer to the Maker for any wrongs committed in this life, as must we all. But you know that. You were the one who murdered him. Whatever How may have done, he should have been brought before the Seneschal. There is no justice in butchering a man in his home. Again, those last two options. You're gonna lose your points. So it's the first one. So it's either two and three. But two has the, uh, gets him in trouble with the Chantry, so. I assure you, Warden, if I were going to send someone, it would be my own soldiers. I would not trust to the discretion of an apostate. Indeed, my brother tells a very different tale. He says you snatched a blood mage from the Chantry's justice. Coincidence? Do not think the Chantry will overlook this, Terran Loghain. Interference in a Templar's sacred duties is an offense against the Maker. Whatever I have done, I will answer for later. At the moment, however, I wish to know what this Warden has done with my daughter. Here in Nora shows her true colors. You took my daughter, our queen, by force. Killing her guards in the process. What arts have you employed to keep her? Does she even still live? I believe I can speak for myself. <gasps> Lords and ladies of Ferelden, hear me. This warden has slandered and defamed Ferelden's greatest hero in a bid to put an imposter on Merrick's throne. My father will always do what must be done for Ferelden. And it is clear to me now that you will not. Who here can say that Anora is not fit to rule this land? And who can say that this Alistair is? We know nothing of him, save that he may have royal blood. For five years, Anora has been queen and proven herself worthy of the Theron name. She can lead our people through this crisis, and I can lead her armies. My lords and ladies, our land has been threatened before. It's been invaded and lost and won times beyond counting. We Ferelden's have proven that we will never truly be conquered so long as we are united. We must not let ourselves be divided now. Stand with me, and we shall defeat even the Blight itself! The South Reach stands with the Grey Wardens. The Warden helped me personally in a family matter. Waking Sea stands with the Grey Warden. Dragon's Peak supports the Warden! The Western Hills throw their lot in with the Wardens. Make her help us. I stand by Loghain. We've no hope of victory otherwise. I stand with the Warden. The Blight is coming. We need the Grey Wardens. Traitors! 
Which of you stood against the Orlesian Emperor when his troops flattened your fields and raped your wives? You fought with us once, Eamon. <coughs> you cared about this land once. Before you got too old and fat and content to even see what you risk. None of you deserve a say in what happens here. None of you have spilled blood for this land the way I have. How dare you judge me? Then, let us end this. I suppose we both knew it would come to this. When we first met at Ostagar, I would never have thought so, but Ostagar seems like it happened in another lifetime to someone else. A man is made by the quality of his enemies. Marek told me that once. I wonder if it's more a compliment to you or me. Enough! Let the landsmeet declare the terms of the duel. It shall be fought according to tradition. A test of arms, in single combat until one party yields. And we, who are assembled, will abide by the outcome. Will you face me yourself, or have you a champion? It is you or me the men will follow. So, let us fight for it. Prepare yourself! shall be done. I underestimated you, Warden. I thought you were like Kaelin, a child wanting to play at war. I was wrong. There's a strength in you that I have not seen anywhere since Marek died. I yield. Wait, there is another option. The Tairn is a warrior and general of renown. Let him be of use. Let him go through the joining. I'm not going to agree to that, but didn't he just tell us that they don't have any... Uh... Um, Archdemon blood on hand. I think he did say that. There are too few of us. It's not a matter of what we like, it's a matter of what we must do. Our duty is to slay the Archdemon. We aren't judges. Kinslayers, blood mages, traitors, rebels, carter thugs, common bandits, anyone with the skill and the metal to take up the sword against the Darkspawn is welcome among us. There are three of us in all of Ferelden, and there are compelling reasons to have as many Wardens on hand as possible to deal with the Archdemon. The joining itself is often fatal, is it not? If he survives, you gain a general. If not, you have your revenge. Doesn't that satisfy you? Absolutely not! Riordan, this man abandoned our brothers and then blamed us for the deed. He hunted us down like animals. He tortured you. How can we simply forget that? You can't do this. My father may have been wrong, but he is still a hero to the people. Honora, hush. It's over. Stop treating me like a child. This is serious. Daughters never grow up, Honora. They remain six years old with pigtails and skinned knees forever. Father. Just make it quick, Warden. I can face the Maker knowing that Ferelden is in your hands. You should tell her to stand back, because this is going to be like the front row of a Gallagher show.
So it is decided. Alistair will take his father's throne. Wait, what? No! When did this get decided? Nobody's decided that. Have they? He refuses the throne. Everyone here has heard him. I think it's clear then. He abdicates in favor of me. I hardly think you're the appropriate person to mediate this, Enora. Warden, will you help us? As the arbiter of this dispute, what is your decision? Who will lead for Elden? This option is only available through the human noble. Really? You will? This is where I wake up, usually. Or everyone points and laughs because I have no clothes on. Honora, the Landsmeet has decided against you. You must now swear fealty to our king and relinquish all claim to the throne for yourself and your heirs. If you think I will swear that oath, Eamon, you know nothing of me. What kind of something? We cannot leave Ferelden in a state of civil war. We must have unity. If she will not swear fealty to you, Alistair, and renounce her claim to the throne, she is a threat to us all. What do you want me to do exactly? Kill her? I can't do that. I guess... Put her in the tower for now. Lock her up. Maybe we can find somewhere to send her. Later. Thank you, Alistair. You show me mercy that I would not have shown you. Very well then. Guards, take her away. Your Highness, would you address the landsman? Oh, uh, that would be me, right? Um... <clears throat> I never knew him, but from all I've heard of my father, what defined him was his commitment to protecting this land. I was getting there. Anyway, the blight, yes. I may be Merrick's son, but I am also a Grey Warden. I took an oath. I swore I would stand and fight the Darkspawn no matter the cost to myself. I can't break that oath just to wear the crown. I have to go with my fellow warden to face the blight. When the blight is over, I'll come back and take up my duties, whatever they are, as king. Until then, I think Al Eamon will have to be my regent. Then I can do Merrick's memory no less honor than you do. I accept. And may the Maker bless your efforts against the Darkspawn. My fellow Grey Warden will, I hope, take Loghain's place as the leader of my armies. Shall we finish this thing together? Everyone, get ready to march! It's going to take all of Ferelden's strength to survive this blight. But we will face it, and we'll defeat it! We'd better get going. Ferelden is depending on us. Who do you think is going to be calling the shots on this uh, post-war? So, strange story. Tell me if you've heard this one. This fellow gets made king, and then gets engaged, all on the same night. I'm not thrilled with the idea of being king. I never wanted it, I told you that. Yet here I am. Not much to be done now. I suppose I'm more curious about, you know, the engagement. I, I like the idea, but... Are you sure? Oh! I guess that saves me having to ask, then. <laughs> Whew. They'll expect an heir, you know. With the taint in our blood, it's hard enough for a Grey Warden to have a child on their own. For two of them, every Grey Warden I knew who had children, had them before they took the joining. Having an heir might not be possible. That's an excellent point. 
good thing we got started when we did, huh? I suppose this is something we'll just have to deal with later. My coronation isn't going to happen for some time yet, and we've still the Darkspawn to fight. Our Lehman has left for Redcliffe, and he says the armies have almost finished gathering there. We should go to Redcliffe as soon as possible. If we don't deal with the Archdemon soon, it'll get cranky, and nobody wants that. Yes. Indeed. Indeed. So one last trip to the uh, the faithful storage chest, and we'll uh, get the final battle going. 